Joining me now is Senator Tommy Tuberville, member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, I know you saw this on Capitol Hill. Um, they really do, I think, think we're that stupid, tying aid to Israel to this boondoggle amount in Ukraine, given just what we learned in this Time magazine investigation. Well, you got it right, Laura. Clown show, that's exactly what it is. On, on the Hill, they look for any kind of crisis to, to make money, borrow money. You know, we're printing over $100,000 a minute right now just to pay for all this stuff. We don't have the money. We're borrowing money from China. Uh, you know, the people that we're actually supposed to be preparing war for in the near future, it's an absolute clown show. Now, John Kirby is outraged that anyone in the GOP would interfere with the administration's desire to send this money overseas. Watch this, Senator. Demanding offsets for core national security means, needs like supporting Israel and defending Ukraine is a break with the normal bipartisan process that could have devastating implications for our safety and for our national security interest overseas. There shouldn't be any political games played here with our national security. Senator, uh, do the Democrats want apparently no debate on this. It's just to shame the likes of you and Senator Hawley and um, others, shame you into supporting Ukraine. And if you don't, I guess you're no better than Hamas. Well, they think we should bite on any, anything that they throw out there, Laura. It, it, it's really a shame. They don't do anything for the American taxpayer. All the money's going out of the country. Uh, we're all looking at Ukraine. We're looking at Israel now. We've got to do something at the border. And that's what we should do as Republicans, stand up and say, listen, we're, we're all for Israel. I mean, what, what a travesty that was. But unless they do something for the American people at the border, because we're in trouble down there, if we don't do something, uh, you don't get anything. We're going to get into that with a, governor, with a lieutenant governor of Texas in just a moment. I couldn't agree more. Um, Mitch McConnell is really unhappy with you, Senator, for holding up these mm. um, nominations. Uh, of course, the nominations could all be voted on, the most important ones, in due course. Um, McConnell took a shot at you today. I want to give you a chance to respond. I said this is a bad idea quite a while ago. I still think it's a bad idea. I have been among those trying to convince Senator Tuberville to uh, express his opposition some other way by people who actually make policy as opposed to uh, our military heroes who are sworn to stay out of politics. Senator, um, apparently now you're against military heroes because you believe actually that there should be a normal course of <laughs> nominations, especially when they're pushing uh, the abortion issue in the military, turning it into a yeah. social uh, engineering uh, I, event. I'm all for the military, and we're in a tough time right now because our military is struggling to actually put a, put, put a group together, whether it's Army, Navy, Air Force, uh, I don't work for Senator McConnell. You know, I like him fine. I work for the people of Alabama and the taxpayers of this country. Uh, I thought we're pro-life. I am. And we're going to fight that. I do not like memos from the White House telling us to do our job that don't worry about voting on this law. We're going to pass it for you. I don't like that. We should do it. We should have a voice for the American people in the Senate, on the Senate floor about this. Uh, I'm not changing my mind. Uh, I'm tomorrow actually putting some nominees on the floor myself to get them confirmed because Chuck Schumer won't do it. Uh, if we got to do his job for him, that's fine. Well, but that's where the rubber meets the road. If they decide, no, we don't want to vote on these, they just want the political issue for next year, correct? Exactly. exactly. They just want, they want some kind of uh, fodder to be able to use against us. But we're actually fighting for the American people in our country. When you watched uh, Austin and, and Blinken up there on the Hill today, do you think they have a clue as to what's going on in Ukraine? It looks like a rerun. It looks like every time they come into a hearing, they're always doing the same thing. They're very poetic in how they talk and what they say, but they talk in rhythms and rhymes. They don't give you any kind of substance. Uh, you know, Infrastructure in Ukraine and, yeah. a, and essentially a Green New Deal for Ukraine. That's, that's what he was essentially you know, describing there. Well, you remember President Biden said our number one crisis is climate change. And it's not <laughs> Israel, it's not the Middle East, it's not Ukraine. Uh, the, these people have no clue what they're doing. We better get back to worrying about the problems of this country first. We're, 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 we're declining as a nation. And if we don't make our country stronger and stronger, we're going to have huge problems outside our borders. Peace through strength. That's what Reagan exactly. said. We need the strength part. Senator, great to see Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.